Guys, in this episode, this trailer is going to be getting some race fuel. We're actually going to put some wheels on this finally. Okay, before I actually mount this to the frame, I'm going to clean up all of this spatter down here and clean up all of this mess first. Okay, next I gotta drill the holes for the cotter pin. <laughs> Up next, we gotta drill our new hole for this bigger air fitting hole. And it is also in a different location, so I gotta make some sort of jig that lets me create an offset hole here somehow. last one and it all went a lot smoother than I thought it would okay um, the next thing to do is weld these gusset plates to the bottom of these mounts that will later be welded to the side of the frame rails
Okay, I got all the wheel arms mounted up. This one is C-clamped in because it kind of bows out a little, so I need to fix that somehow. I'm probably going to heat this piece up and bend it in a little bit. And then I found out, so in here, there's a little plastic washer, and uh, I bought nylon. I guess it's supposed to be Teflon. Don't really know what the difference is, but I think Teflon is what I want and nylon's not, so I need to wait for those to come in and put those in. In the meantime, we're going to finally use this. I'm going to use it to shape the flat stock I have to hold the fender, and then I'm going to cut this up to become the fender. So, yeah. have it one of the fenders installed all we're missing now is mounting the stub axle which uh, I'll get to tomorrow or whenever that Teflon spacer comes in all right my stick of Teflon is here so now I gotta make the same thing but out of Teflon instead of nylon these stub axles they need to be turned down a little bit to fit into the plasma cut holes because those holes are a little undersized and then these hubs are also way too long so we got to turn some of it down too
here we have two of the stub axle machined and fit. Now I need to make some sort of contraption so I can align it with the trailer. My idea is to drill some bolts or drill some holes for this to bolt in so I can measure it and align it with the trailer. So yeah, let's see how far I get with that. So here is the contraption I came up with. I machined some spacers to clamp onto to the distance I want my axles to be from the frame. And I machined this bar of aluminum to bolt into where the brake pads would mount to. So hopefully this will help align the axles to each other and to the frame and then uh, I think I'm gonna heat heat up the stub axles with a torch or something so maybe it'll be easier to weld and less warping or or something I don't know but uh, let's see how it goes Alright, so we got two wheels on. Um, an old friend of mine stopped by and he taught me a little bit about how to get a better alignment. Um, I wasn't sure if he wanted to be on camera so I didn't record any of it. So basically, my little rod flat piece here it was a good attempt I suppose but it didn't turn out very well because it was still like at least an eighth off after we put the wheel on. So we kind of, I kind of tacked it in place, we measured it with the wheel on, and we kind of just uh, hammered it back and forth until it was uh, aligned straight with the frame. And so yeah, I guess I'm going to do it again on this side and you'll get to see what I do. I got all four studs welded up. Sadly, they're not uh, very aligned anymore. These three tires are all towed in slightly. That last one over there is the only one that came out square after welding it. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just leave it that way or find some other way to make the toe alignment more adjustable. Um, anyway, some people on the group that I bought the plans from were telling me that the airbags I bought, these airlift airbags, are highly underrated compared to the Firestone airbags that was recommended by the plan. 
but uh, I don't know anything about airbags. So if anyone out there knows anything more about airbags and can give me some feedback, that would be great. But that'll be all for this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to get this ready for a drive.